everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I am part of a poppiness hop with the design team for Susan Taylor Brown and we're all working on the Dragonfly Days digital kit by Susan and you can find her on Etsy at poppiness. So I've chosen to use some dragonflies today to make a collage envelope and I've used a few different pages from the kit. I've used some of the sheets for collaging to make the base of my envelope and I've actually cut out some of the lovely dragonflies to use on my envelope which are these beautiful dragonflies here and there are so many to choose from. They are beautiful. So I'll just hop over and start doing the collaging I'm going to just sew some pieces together I have pre-dyed some paper for you so that you, you don't have to stop and wait for me to do all that so I've got some just tracing paper here which I have dyed with some ranger inks just sprayed some different colours in blues and greens on so we've got that that we can use I have some brown paper which I have pre-dyed and that's just packing paper but I have actually aged it a bit with some just a few little spots of brown here and there just to, um, just to give a, a little bit of texture to it so I don't know if you can see that well on the camera or not but it's just got a few little brown streaks through it so just an alternative colour to the the pages that I'm using to collage with and this is just part of the kit it's not the entire kit I've just grabbed a few pieces that we can use today to make our envelope so I have an envelope that I have made previously for my mermaid kit and that is this one here so this is the kind of envelope I will be making today um, this one I've used also with a poppiness kit this is the mermaid kit and uh, that also comes with some lovely sayings as well and so this is the kind of envelope I'll be making with the little tuck in the back and just all collaged and sewn I've stitched all around the edges of this one you don't have to be that fussy but I just liked that look I shall move along to my sewing machine and start collaging some pieces together for you Okay, so what I might do is um, speed that little bit up a bit and give you some nice music to listen to while that's on so that you don't have to hear the noisy sewing machine and then I'll come back and do the collaging of the, the top of the envelope so you can see how that's done too. So back shortly. Okay, so I'm just going to sew together the pieces that I've collaged and I've just quickly and glued some strips together to save a little bit of time and it's just a mishmash I've used the dragonfly pages top and bottom and then in the middle I've used some brown packing paper some dyed tracing paper and a little piece of a book page and I've just tacked them together lightly with just a little bit of glue and I'm just going to sew over those now. So I just sew them in a kind of random pattern all over the place. Okay, so I'll just continue sewing along here um, where I left off from. So as I said, I just randomly you can go over them as many times as you want really wherever you like I just oops turn that round so I go around the round the dragonfly slowly
Okay, so I've got my punch board out and I've decided that the envelope size I want to make is 4x7 which means I need to have a piece of paper that is 8 and 3 quarters, is it? By 8 and 3 quarters. I think that's what it says. It's so small. But um, this is the size that I made earlier. I want to make the same size again. So to do that, I need to cut that size envelope to get an envelope this size in the end and this one I've made similar with the collage and I use some collage paper um, which is just tracing paper which I have dyed with the Ranger inks and just sprayed so I use the Distress Spray and Stain faded jeans and a couple of other colours, just some greens and blues and I've used that to make sort of an ocean pattern on this um, and then I used that as part of the collage paper which you saw me so earlier and I've just made that by putting those pieces together and just sewing randomly over them so I've used the dragonflies from the kit from the poppiness kit and I've used some just some packing paper which I've um, just aged a little bit with some ink and sewn it together. So now I'm going to cut that down to the size I need to make an envelope like this. So we decided that we needed what was it eight and three quarters so it's a square so I need to cut this down to eight and three quarters. So I'll just cut that down. Okay, so if you don't have an envelope punch board, you can get away without one. You just use your envelope um, shape and you cut your envelope out of the piece of paper that you've got. If you follow the, the numbers on the board, then you should get a nice even envelope but of course sometimes especially when you're using collaged bits and pieces they're never really square they're never even it's a bit ratty but I don't really mind if it comes out a bit sort of hodgepodge because it just adds a bit of character to the look of the envelope and it doesn't look at all bad if it's not perfectly square you can still have quite a nice collaged envelope without it being perfect so anyway for this one, it's telling me the number that I need is three and three and three eighths by the looks of it. So what I'm going to do is I think it's three and oh it's very hard, very hard to see. I think it's three and three eighths, we we'll hope it is. So that is here, three and three eighths is there on this board. So that would be where you make your first punch. So three and three eighths is there. You would then make your first punch hole there and you'll score on that line. And my scoring tool has just disappeared. So where you've made your punch mark, you then have to score. So you would score the line that it's um, showing you from that point and then you turn it that way and put the line that you've just made on the score guide which is level with that little arrow so that goes up into there and that is where you would make your next mark and that doesn't necessarily line up with the same mark on the board so once you've made your one your first number one punch your next ones all come from your score line so you would then punch the next hole and you would make your score line for that one here so that should be coming down there then you'll turn it again that way and you would use the score line that you just made as your next score guide so you line that up with your little mark on there and that's the next spot that you punch should be there 
so then from there you'll make your next score line and all things being perfect in a perfect world this will give you your envelope shape so your next score line is there you hook that under your little this is a bit wonky because it's collaged um, so it's, it's bumpy so that is where your line is there you're lining up with that so that makes your next punch one which is a little bit hard because it's the tissue paper so it may not cut as well so then your next one will come across here so you should have then a rectangle shape oh it's got um, a little bit of cotton cotton caught in it that's why that's the cotton from the sewing is caught up in it I'll just snip that on the inside there snip off so we then have a rectangle shape and that will be your envelope fold so you'll fold then all around those areas if I move that out of the way so you can see you've got your rectangle in the middle which will be your envelope shape and all of these parts here are the parts that you fold back to make your envelope so we'd be folding these two into the middle like that and then this one coming up at the bottom like that makes the bottom of your envelope and then this part would be the flap that folds over the top so there you have your envelope shape base, which of course is a little bit wonky because it's all sewn all over, but it's relatively, relatively even, it's not too bad. And once you've collaged it all um, with your bits and pieces like this, you don't even notice that it's not perfect. So I'll go back and find my dragonflies to collage with and we'll do that bit next okay so I have fussy cut out my dragonflies from the kit and I've also gone and found a little nature saying from the poppiness collection of nature sayings which there are quite a few on her page and I cut out a little tab of a dragonfly to make a little tuck at the back for our envelope. So here we have the base. I've folded it to make an envelope and you can decide yourself whether you like um, a certain pattern, whether which way you want to go with it. Um, the dragonflies are on that side so I thought they would look nicest as the flap. So what I've done with this side is just tucked it down a little and you can either cut that off or glue it under if you prefer as I like that sort of flat shape at the bottom and then you just glue your seams down so they hold and of course you can do the same with your templates if you just cut out the shape of an envelope and make it pretty much the same kind of style so this is our flap so to tuck our flap under you don't have to do this but I like to have a little spot just to hold it down so it sits flatter in your book especially as it's a collage one there's a lot of bulk there so it might flip up because of all the sewing and stitching so I always make a little tab to just to hold that piece down and it doesn't take much you just need a bit of glue each side to hold it there and then you can poke that into it so you work out where you want it and just place that down and you can just tuck that back in later once you've worked out so you don't want to glue it in there permanently and if you accidentally get glue on this it will stick so once that's nice and firm down there you can then tuck your little piece back into it and that will keep it closed 
So that's the back. On the front, I've decided that I will go with the two fussy cut dragonflies that I chose. So it's just a matter of deciding, you know, where you like the little um, cutouts on your page, underneath, over the top, wherever. I quite like that sort of style for balance. So I think I might glue my saying in the middle which is a nature saying and it was quite a nice one I thought it was dragonfly inclined it says the voice of nature is always encouraging Henry David Thoreau so I thought I might have this little fella over here somewhere and it doesn't really matter if he hangs off the edge if you want him to just thought he looked kind of nice on the blue or you could have him down underneath here if you liked I mean that side it's up to you so I fussy cut them out and I inked around the edges so that the white wasn't so obvious so there we'll just pop him on there and this one on this side So when I printed these ones out, I printed them on cardstock so they were a little bit heavier or just heavier paper, heavier weight paper. So they had a little bit of heft when you're cutting them out. You don't really want to accidentally snip off any feet or if, if the cards or the paper is a bit heavier, it's a lot easier to fussy cut. So there we have... Our envelope, now that didn't take very long to do at all, did it? So the longest part probably is the sewing of your collaged piece to start with. But other than that, it's quite quick to make. Just tucks into your little spot at the back there. And there you have an envelope. And this is the one I did earlier. This was from the Mermaid Kit, which is also poppiness. And I used a mermaid saying on that one as well from the same collection. And I have mermaid on the back for the tuck spot. So that is a collaged envelope. And I hope you have enjoyed being part of our poppiness hop. And you can hop right over to the next one. As um, we have quite a lot of ladies in the hop doing different things with this beautiful kit the dragonfly kit so thank you for joining me today and lovely to have you along and i'll see you all next time bye for now